everyone, Wendy here from the Indigo Doors for another episode of Quantum Art. This episode, I'm going to be discussing the painting I just channeled for the month of July of 2024, and I've called it Limitless. Now, whenever I channel a painting, it's not predetermined, meaning they do walk me through it step by step. And I don't even really understand all of the messaging and the energy that's coming through until like during the process they're explaining it to me and then even afterwards I'll go into more of a channeled state and bring in more of the information and they're showing me visually what is what inside the painting. So it really is a very in the moment process and it's extremely magical because I don't it's not premeditated right and because of that there's no way of really ex proving that to anybody but myself in a way where you know for example in May I painted Northern Lights before it happened and it ended up being a very remarkable moment in the month of May having the Northern Lights show up for us here in Michigan and every month there are moments like that where it validates my experience and it really shows me how much I am bringing in new information and spirit really is trying to explain the process of this awakening through me. And I am so grateful um, to do this because I enjoy painting so much and I enjoy bringing in information and you have to be kind of a little <laughs> weird and open to be able to do that. So um, it has been a journey and I'm getting better at it every day. But so this painting, Limitless, is by far a different kind of painting. I had to incorporate different kinds of techniques that I haven't used before, even in my own painting process. And so in that way, it starts off with, we have to behave differently, you know, very loudly is this message from spirit. This month, it's about really shifting into this new human, to this new you. And spirit has been preparing us, the universe is preparing us for months, in some ways, years, decades. Um, but consciously, and in, in maybe you've been aware of it, you know, longer than that or shorter than that, it doesn't matter, everybody's on their own journey, but they have been kind of setting you up for this moment. And these upcoming moments they're telling me in this moment, it is about behaving differently. And you can feel it in this painting, there's a lot of energy, there's a lot, it is about the mastery of self, hence that being, um, that has all of their chakras open and then you have these three symbols outside of the being and then the web of course and then the river the water river kind of flowing through it and then you also have this yellow line this golden kind of parameter going kind of around the human as well and everything of course has a specific meaning and it really is about mastering the self so we can be and move into more of who we truly are, expanding. And every month it is about that. It is about expansion in some form or another. Whenever you find yourself listening to this, it's going to be appropriate for you. And there's so much information in this painting that it's not about time. It's not about July. It's not about even 2024. Whenever you find this, video it is about you are being called to tap into this divine power within you about how to manifest and how to create the world in which you want and you desire it's pretty powerful but it really comes down to this month is about you expanding into more of who you truly are mastering taking mastering yourself taking responsibility for the master creator that you are getting all of your parts in alignment to whatever it is that you're desiring whatever it is that way it could be you know healthy relationships healthy body 
peace, love. It could be something physical. Maybe you want a new home. There's nothing wrong with wanting physical things. Um, and aligning all of those things with your heart, with your mind, with your thoughts, with your feelings, with your doing. Your only purpose here on the planet is to be happy. And that that's an oversimplified thing to say, but it really is about being happy and it's about um, aligning you with that. You're allowed to have your wants and needs fulfilled. You are allowed to live a joyous life and happiness kind of embodies all of those things. You know, where you're seen, you're heard, you're validated, you're loved in all ways. And in that space, when all of those needs are met, your authentic voice, your authenticity, it's easier to obtain. And that is partly what this humanoid figure over here on the right side of the painting represents, you know, with all of their chakras aligning. It is so important to know thyself. And we, we hint on all of those aspects in all of the things that we teach in our classes and our messages from the universe in our retreats you know we talk about mastering the self and what that really means you know what does it really mean to heal how do you really heal from trauma how do you really heal from abuse or neglect you know what does that really look like and those are important things to discover for yourself especially if you've experienced those things and to oversimplify it, because it is oversimplified, it is about aligning your chakras. Um, it is about infusing light into your body. And it's not an, always an easy thing. It's simple, but it's not always easy, especially if you've experienced trauma. It's like, okay, yeah, I need to open up my root chakra. But if you've had intense trauma, um, it's going to take a minute. And here's the thing, because of where we are on the planet now, because we are in this new earth or just the spiritual awakening where you become aware of even other lifetimes especially if you have more consciousness so it then becomes a your root chakra then becomes an awareness or you're healing other lifetimes right so it's this, it is complex or it can be and it also can be very simple you know one of the messages that came through with this painting is that it is just time to switch tracks it, the energy is different now to where you don't necessarily have to be this arduous healer where you have to go back into time and really find the root cause of the root moment. Though if that is arising in your thinking and you are having these memories arise, that is what's important for you. It is going to be important for you to show up for those parts of yourself that need your love, that need to be released from the body. They are also saying that through your intention, you can choose to kind of jump tracks into a space of I choose abundance or I choose health, right? And where you can acknowledge with honor that you have come from experiences where you have experienced a lot of lack or you have experienced a lot of disrespect or dis-ease or just pain maybe or sadness honoring those experiences and saying I am choosing something else I know that I have the power within me to choose and I choose and I co-create with the universe a B or C or all of those things I choose a life full of peace and harmony and love and I surround myself with people that validate me and can see me and celebrate me I choose to celebrate myself there is this autonomy with this figure and that is really what is coming through strong is like we have to start there we do have to begin here so if you do have dis-ease in your body or an imbalance in your body you we we begin there so if you have neck issue or if you're if you're there's an aspect of your physical form that is out of balance that is talking to you and you'll know if it's talking to you, meaning it's something's flaring up or you're having digestive issues or something is happening, something's being triggered. Those are the things, that's where you begin because your body is talking and is trying to help you get back into balance, get back into this centered state. And that is the mastery of the physical form. It is an embodiment of those other three things. Those other three symbols represent energy, frequency and vibration 
it actually I said them in the wrong order. Energy would be energy or matter is the thing on the on the right, which is the red. The one in the middle is vibration, and the one in the very left there is frequency, like how fast or slow are you vibrating, and what that actually means and entails. And we're going to kind of break that down as we go. But we do have to begin with understanding and mastering the self so really taking responsibility for your feelings your thoughts and your actions and your words right and just taking responsibility for how it is that you feel this is not about a right or wrong game if you're going in this and trying to be obedient to something you're missing this whole new spiritual awakening altogether it is about you mastering and knowing thyself and learning how to love yourself Meaning, whatever's arising for you in the moment, that is your divine, sacred design. That is your higher self showing you what you need to look at first, second, third, fourth, in an order. And only you are going to know that. No one outside of yourself can actually tell you what's going on. Now, we can share our gifts and tell you what we see and things like that, but you are ultimately your own authority. So mastering the self, really understanding that your inner world is and manifests and creates your outer world. And that's what that web is. It is awakening to this, this new energy that's around us. And this is not a new idea or new concepts. This is something that we have been becoming aware of for decades, right? And I would say even centuries and even thousands of years ago and other kind of incarnations of human human beings, we've had explored different aspects of this consciousness. We are master creators. And I, I think that's amazing and beautiful. And that's really what you're being asked to do here. Take responsibility that you are this master creator and nothing bad is happening. Now, you might not like something, you might not like that dis-ease in your body or that out imbalance or that neck pain or that head pain or the shoulders or the knee or whatever is arising for you. But taking responsibility that it is there to help you get back into balance and back into harmony, back into that state of being in, in unity within all living things. Because as you do that and you are shifting your vibration right, of your physical form by opening all of your chakras up and healing and cleansing and releasing the things that no longer serve us, you do begin to become aware of this unified field. And it be, in this unified field, and that's kind of what's represented here in this web, that black web that you see, it is the black no thing. It is the womb space. It is space itself. It is dark matter. It is how we how we create all things and we're part of it it is the space in between it is the silence and it's magical it really is a magical space it is the divine feminine and it is a mastery of self and as you become this incarnate of light itself and that's partly why all the colors are there even though those also represent your chakras um, you are light itself and light itself in this physical reality it's an electromagnetic wave that we experience in a visual way with our eyes through that spectrum of reds greens blues yellows oranges purples pinks right the rainbow of color and then those colors could even have a certain frequency of sound so we experience in this electromagnetic wave through sound we are that embodiment and as you slow it down so it's color and then sound you're slowing down the wave into an actual form so really solid things are really really slow electromagnetic waves and so and we embody that but we also can affect it because we are consciousness itself and so that is truly what the spiritual awakening is and from a human perspective from a human perspective what does that mean for your own life because that's great in theory right and it's like oh that's so cool but what does that mean when i'm sad or i'm depressed or i'm angry like what's going on there right and that is those are 
aspects of the same thing and we don't necessarily have a science to back up like the meaning or the purpose behind emotions um, to me it is an embodiment of light in water and that's partly why there's this this wave through the figure here so it is an embodiment of water and light and so it's an experience of the great I am and it's almost like this um, guidepost of letting us know <clears throat> where every how we feel in regards to our authenticity right and they've proven this in psychology right or mental health right usually when you're angry your boundaries are being crossed your actual real boundaries so you can't fake that right you can't fake or pretend and move your boundaries and we do try that especially if you've come from trauma or from you know codependency or enmeshment we do try to manipulate what we think our boundaries should be intellectually versus where they are but you can't fake it that's where your emotions really never lie right they are kind of this essential piece to your heart and to your higher self so they can be a huge tool or asset on your journey to awakening trust your feelings and that's partly why this is through this human being and around this human being like it is a, an element that is vital on this journey there's no more like fence sitting there's no more um, kind of gathering information it's time now to act and it's time now for you to do what it is that you came here to do it's time for you to step into your power use your voice and this is where everyone's past a little bit different but it is time for you and that's what this month is all about it is time to behave differently it's time to utilize all the skills that you've been acquiring remember we've talked many times about creating a spiritual practice getting to know yourself honoring your emotions allow yourself to dream like all of these were huge themes in the last several months so now it's you've been practicing those and so as you now move into July August it's time to be those things and that is definitely easier said than done because in this newness and change is a hard thing for human beings spirit tells me that all the time and it's something that um, it is a very hard thing for our psyche it's our psyche is very slow in wanting change because there's comfort in what we know and what we see even though change is one of the truths of reality that things always change are always changing because we're always expanding and so it's time to be this new you and what that looks like is we have to put the sword down we have to stop fighting we have to stop holding on to the stories that no longer serve us and holding on to the stories that no longer serve us looks like we need to stop telling stories from an old perspective especially if it's no longer serving you or for example if you are sharing a story of victimization or of lack or of people don't hear me or people are out to get me I don't have enough money I people are mean like these big grandiose kind of statements or statements that are aligned with fear and victimization those are the things that really have to stop you are a master creator so every time you say those stories or you're thinking those stories and both are true we need to stop speaking them and thinking this way and it's not about obedience and we'll get into that it's you are helping create the one thing that you're probably trying to get rid of and so spirit says it's, it's time now this month right now to now embody the things that you're desiring so now I speak of only abundance. Now I speak of the world is, um, my success is unfolding perfectly for me. And I speak that truth to everyone that I can, right? I'm no longer sharing stories of my past disparity. I'm no longer contributing thoughts to lack. 
Now I have mastered up to this point in understanding aspects of my being that needed my love. There's a difference here, okay? If there are things that need to be released in your body, and that's partly why the body's there, if there are emotions that are trapped in your body that have not been resolved, you can't kind of bypass them. They do need to be released. So that is that frequency piece. We have to raise our frequency. So we have to release that stuff from our body. So we have to cry. We have to let it out. And there's breathing techniques and meditations and just praying and speaking to your guides and angels or speaking to yourself and just allowing yourself to have your experience. All of these things, journaling, talking to the trees. There's so many things and we've talked about that in other, in other episodes, right? It is about shifting your vibrations and that is changing your story. That's what it is like from a human perspective. That means changing your thoughts. And if, before you can even change your thoughts, you have to become aware of them. And we've talked about this. So are your thoughts, feelings, actions aligned with your higher self? And that's that figure there when you're all in when all of your chakras are in alignment? Are they aligned with your highest purpose, with your highest desire, with your joy? So that is going to be different for different people. So you might be asked then, the one thing that might jump out for you is that you might not be speaking your authenticity or you might not be, you might not be thinking that within yourself. And you can't fake this. This is you and your, and your relationship with yourself. You know, how is that self-talk? How is that internal world for yourself? Is it safe? You know, do you create a safe reality within your thinking, within your thinking and your thoughts? This is your sacred temple. And that's where it's so important to kind of create this sanctuary within and recognize those thoughts and why they're there if they are negative and whose thoughts those are, what needs to be released and what needs to be healed. And it's time to shift into and practice this vibrational increase by opening your chakras and, and consciously healing your body with your thoughts and your energy. And then if you need help, you could always get help, right? But this, this is essential and that's what it's time just to do this work so we can move on to bigger and better things, right? And shift our vibration. So that means no longer engaging with dysfunctional parts of our being. When there, it, there does come a time on your journey where you have to put the story down, where you have to no longer talk about lack and you have to move into abundance. And that's, that's a perfect example of what they're saying. You can't talk about lack and have abundance at the same time. There's a moment when you have to let go of that lack be like, hey, I'm no longer going to have that conversation or participate. And now my conversations are just going to be about abundance. I'm moving into more abundance. Everything, your vibrational state within you is a, re is a reflection. The vibrational state is a reflection of who you are. And your physical reality reflects that vibrational state. And that's what this weaving out and pushing out of these elements is your physical reality is an expression of your vibrational state and that's based on your frequency right and that frequency is your intention right where everything vibrates right you are light itself so you are vibrating at very high frequency and very low frequency you have the capacity to vibrate at all things, right? Dark to light. Really deep, deep, slow waves to very, 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 very high waves. You are light itself. So how do you choose what to vibrate at? And that's where your consciousness comes in. So you have a frequency, vibration, and energy, which is also matter. You need all things. So you have feelings, you have thoughts, and then you have action. 
those three things align with energy, vibration, and frequency. So frequency would be emotions, you have vibration, which would be thoughts and spoken word, right? And then you have physical, you have energy or matter, which is action. Ultimately, you want those all three things to align with love, right? Your joy. Meaning, you have to know thyself, so it begins there. And if you don't know yourself, keep keep doing that. Keep thinking about what it is that you desire because you're allowed to be happy, right? We talked, we started this whole conversation. So this month's all about figuring that out and then mastering your body to start manifesting Mastering your body to manifest the reality that you deserve. It's your divine right to have anything and everything that you want. So and it's, it's time to behave differently. So letting go of these old stories, really moving. And this, so this is what it looked like for me. It looks like me sitting down, becoming very aware of what my passion and my joys are on a daily basis. Especially if you're not aware of what it is. You gotta figure that out, you gotta explore it. And that takes some time. Figuring out and then really kind of cultivating that frequency of like, yes, this is what I want. This is how I want to give back to people. This is what I want, I I desire. And they can be physical things too, right? It doesn't I desire this beautiful new car or I desire beautiful, amazing relationships, whatever it is you're desiring, right? You need to know where your compass is. And then you're matching your thoughts and act and words with those things. Because you can't have both. You can no longer now be at this polarity of, I can't have lack, I can't have thoughts and, and spoken words in lack, and then also have, I have abundance, right? Because they were kind of, they were, they were kind of canceling each other out. So if they were canceling each other out, it was, the universe was very confused on what could actually create in the physical world. So it truly is about once you master and you now have your words matching up with your desires and your thoughts within your head matching up with that desire. Physical reality, the universe now knows everything then is in alignment with that truth because the universe is always going to say yes. And then the physical reality will show itself. But here's the other piece of this red of this red stuff, this red energy blob. It's about action. And it is also about identity. So as much as it's about thought and speaking, right, it is also about being that thing. So it's kind of like dress to impress or, you know, kind of visualize yourself having what kind of person would I be if I ran a $10 million company or what kind of person would I be to if I was to impact millions and millions of people? What kind of person is that, right? Like this identity. And what kind of behaviors would this person, how would they behave? So your actions are just as powerful as your thoughts and what you're speaking. So if you are still choosing to act and do things that aren't aligned with that identity either or are not aligned with your highest and greatest good. And that's why this month's all about behaving differently. We can talk and think all day, but then if we are continually being faced with people, let's say, where we're not sharing our truth or we're not really having those harder conversations, right? We're not really embodying everything that's possible for us right now. This is key because it's like, This is what moves you into this new earth frequency, this new you. We have to start behaving differently now. We have been practicing and cultivating these tools and this awareness around all of these concepts for the last several months. So it's time now 
to behave differently, to kind of put them all together and start being you, writing the book, right? Um, doing the thing, working out, um, having your thoughts and your words and your feelings all in alignment. But you can't fake this. This is the embodiment of the new earth and this is what's here right now. And I don't know if you guys can feel it, but there's a lot of new energy here. It does feel like I'm a brand new person. It does feel like the world itself is a brand new place. And there's so much potent energy here to manifest your dreams and desires. It's like, would you please just use these tools to make it happen for yourself. You're a powerful creator. And you can have and you can be cultivating and manifesting all of these amazing things while moving through some heavier things. This is where it is a complex thing and it's not a linear process, meaning I'm still moving through things. I'm still releasing some trauma from my childhood. That is okay. I'm also participating in new behaviors and new thoughts and new actions and you, it's like that it's like it's okay right you deserve more love always it is love love is the key here love is the key this yellow rope around this figure is about power it is about your solar plexus chakra Right? It is about your divine power, the divine feminine and masculine aspects of self. And that's why it's hard to kind of talk about these things because it's an experience and you can't fake it. You know, just like if you're not really creating that sacred temple within, if you're not really sitting down with yourself every day and getting to know how who you are and how you really feel, right, then there's then you know there's no movement to take place because you're not really doing the work. You're not really embodying what we're saying, what spirit is saying. And there is no judgment. They're just really wanting this for you. And it's okay if you have down days and it's okay if you're not doing it, if you're, you're getting better at it every day. We need to start reframing all of this. It's about identity. That's what that golden ribbon is. And it's about moving beyond what you think you know. Moving beyond, so we're stretching the limits of who we think we are. And that's partly why it's coming out, right? It's coming out and it's all about expansion. And that's why this painting's labeled Limitless. Like they're saying, we don't really understand how many limits we put on reality itself. It's so kind of like, ooh, the thunder and lightning, it's happening right now. There's so many limits around this the reality. We put so many limits. So can you open it up? And we have to experience it. It's, it's, it's time to have an experience of that limitlessness. And we do that through meditation, through having a spiritual practice, through knowing ourselves in a limitless way, in a spiritual way. And it's powerful, it's so powerful. It's very exciting to, to feel what's happening this month. Um, we're going to kind of work through how to um, really embody all of these things at our, at our next retreat that's coming up in October. It's gonna be in Tucson, Arizona. Um, because there's a lot of other information that they're bringing in and this some of this is not new right some of this is like we knew we, we create our own realities we know how to manifest through the laws of attraction you know but it, it truly is like an embodiment of all three things and there's some nuances to that especially if you've experienced trauma you can't kind of fake your way through trauma and they would say that that would be your resistance within you. And it really is more or less if you have trauma or if your outside world isn't reflecting what it is that you desire, then there must be some resistance within you or some subconscious beliefs 
that we have to look at in love. We have to learn what those might be, that resistance within us. And just they just need our attention. They just need our love and support. So that way they can be dissolved or transmuted into light. And so that they no longer show up as a resistance or show up as um, opposite of what it is that we're trying to create for ourselves. Like nothing bad is happening in this world. It's kind of a very powerful, magical place. Even the opposition, even the subconscious beliefs that are showing up as lack or um, situations that are not necessarily what we would want for ourselves. The last thing that Spirit wants to bring through about this month is all of the energy outside of those three symbols. And the energy is a little chaotic and it's meant to, it's kind of meant to show you that there is this kind of wildness to reality. And the reason why it needs to be wild is because it's in that space of not knowing and releasing control and letting go. It's almost like if we wake up every morning and expect our lives to be a certain way and if you're older if you're in your 30s and in your 40s you have a lot of habitual thinking and expectations in regards to reality and so in some ways spirits saying that we need to unlearn this and in this unlearning it is about surrendering to we don't necessarily know what to expect and be open to that wildness now our subconscious or our child within might have an issue with this letting go if it hasn't felt safe or it needs to feel safe because control is a sense of feeling safe um, and so you might have to nurture your young younger self within you um, but essentially what spirit is saying is could you allow yourself to let go and be open to the possibility that you might not know what's going to happen today could you open yourself up to the wildness of reality itself? Because it's in that wildness that anything and everything can happen. It is that is where you can use your imagination to say, hey, um, hey, I can get a random call from somebody or I can win the lotto or I'm going to find $5 million on the, on the steps. It's almost like in that joy and in that imagination, allows for other things to happen because with that expectation it is helping create it could be helping create the thing that you don't want so letting go being part of this wild imagination energy space that really is almost the birthplace of things right almost in the kundalini energy itself and you can see in the background of all of those shapes is this light language so it is really surrendering control and behaving differently like really kind of intentionally being like I'm gonna stay open hey I expect miracles I don't know what's gonna to happen today it's kind of exciting but I know it's always gonna be for my highest and greatest good and I know that I'm manifesting abundance and amazing relationships and all of these things so there's this wildness to it that spirit really wants us to kind of embody and become aware of now right there's really showing us this next year is going to be very magical very powerful and so if you can get this into practice now it's just going to be more and more like miracles and magic and I've experienced it personally myself I um, really hope that you can feel what it is that I'm saying there's a lot of potential energy here they really want us all to just tap into it we can heal, we can just kind of jump tracks, we can move into a reality where all our needs are met and everything is possible. So what does that mean for you? What are you desiring and what is it that you're creating? Because the world is yours. All right, sending you so much love. I can't wait to share next month's painting. Until next time.